So, morning folks, welcome back to Motorhoming with Jake. Hi. And Chuckles. And uh, it's been a while, uh, so this morning, first time we've been out in about... Uh, seven months. Seven months, mm -hmm. is it? Seven months, it's been a while. Uh, so we are going to, we're all packed up, ready to go. It's Saturday morning and we are going to, where are we going? Darling. Uh, whereabouts? Doubles. Doubles. Or something. Mm -hmm. <coughs> somewhere with red water. <coughs> Don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, somewhere up by Grimmin ish area. Um, I'll put a link somewhere down here or up there or somewhere. Uh, and uh, you, can, uh, you can see where we're going to go. And we will let you know when we get there. Here we go. We've, uh, we've had a near disaster this morning. Jackie lost her hat. But as you can see, um, this is my camping hat. Uh, it's about 35 degrees <laughs> centigrade, uh, but we've got to wear the hat. Okay, make your own decision there. Uh, okay, uh, so we will catch you later on uh, when we've got maybe something interesting to tell you. Okay? See you later. See you then. So we made it to the Devil's Pulpit and there's a van, we've managed to park, it's the uh, Devil's Pulpit is about half a mile that way, down there, because you can't park there, there's a space for about 12 cars or thereabouts, uh, there's no chance of getting the van in there, so we've had to drive a wee bit up the road, about half a mile, and we we're lucky to get into this space here, as you can see, it's very small, something to bear in mind if you come here, then it's uh, very difficult to park, so good luck. We ended up here in Garadban, I think I'm probably slaughtering that, I'll put a link up, uh, forest stop, it's part of the stay the night scheme. Uh, and you can see here we're, uh, where we are, it's quite a decent pitch, there's no electric or toilets or anything, uh, apart from the uh, bird song. So we'll see how this goes, uh, it seems pretty decent, it's pretty flat. Uh, you're not allowed to stay one night and uh, you're not allowed to come back, I think it's within two days or three days, something like that. Uh, and you can see that the weather has been uh, quite decent. So we're just going to get a kettle on now and uh, have a cup of tea and we'll, uh, we'll catch you later. So dinner was a bit of a disaster as the uh, great curry that we brought from home uh, took out the freezer. was still frozen by the time we got here, it's now half past five. So. Uh, we've no time to defrost it, so we've had lucky dip in the cupboard and because we haven't been away for a while, we don't have much in the cupboard so we're having Uncle Ben's Mexican fried rice and sausages that we're going to have for breakfast so, um, yay, go us um, talk to you later hey folks, we're back again, we decided to come out a walk this is part of the West Highland Way but we're doing it in reverse, so we're walking towards Mulgai I don't know if anybody's ever done that before uh, but that's what we're doing, so we're just going to go about a mile or a couple of miles, we'll see I know, and uh, well, uh, it's quite a nice night isn't it? Lovely Yeah, and uh, there's still walkers on the way, what time is it? I don't know, about seven-ish heading towards, uh, where are we going? Drummond uh, so we'll, uh, we'll let you know how the walk is it's quite a nice sofa, can you hear that? Shh. How quiet is it here? Fantastic. Morning, it's Sunday morning. I'm going to show you one of the reasons why stay the night in the forest is a good idea. Listen. A great way to wake up.
So, morning from a, a sunny, uh, where are we? West Highland Way. Uh, Drummond is down that way somewhere. Off coast there. You can just about see the lock this morning. There it is. You can see that. Hang on. Okay, so uh, I'll drop in some uh, drone footage that we've done here. Uh, we've just passed a load of runners. Uh, you'll see the footage here. Uh, one of them started yesterday, 7 a.m. Running the West Island Way backwards from Fort William. Uh, it's now about half eight, quarter to nine, something like that. Uh, so he's got about 10, 12 miles still to do to run the whole thing in 27 hours. It's craziness, absolute craziness. Why would you think to do such a thing? But he's, uh, I think he's raising a lot of money for uh, SAMH, Mental Health Charity, so good on him. Well done him. Everybody else that you've seen, they think they were just running from uh, River Denon, uh, which is <laughs> quite a distance in itself. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll drop that in here and I'll, I'll catch you later. again still on the path so what do you think of the uh, stay for night excellent set up value. yeah yeah different value it was free oh, it's excellent ah it's good value that's the value we like free stuff yeah in the room in the room nice and quiet very busy so i would say just very dark get here early yeah it's very dark yeah uh but uh yeah thumbs up for that scheme. Yep. So, morning folks, we are just leaving our Uganda band then, whatever it's called. Something like that. And uh, we've decided, it's still quite early, it's 10 o'clock I think. And so we've decided we are not going to go home just now, we are going to go to Balmaha and uh, visit the Tom Weir statue and have a wee walk. Sound fun? Yep. Yeah? Get a picture taken with Tom Weir. Uh, so we will uh, we'll catch you later and we'll, we'll see you in Balmaha. Say bye. Bye. We just arrived at the Tom Weir statue and the last time we were here it was just the statue. But look at it now. It's all being landscaped. How amazing is that? Picnic area. Maybe view point. And there's a statue over there. We're going over there just in a minute. Well, we look at Tom Weir. Okay, see you in a second. Hey folks, so we scrapped that video because we, we, we somebody spoke to us. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we might show you that one. Uh, so we're here with, with Tom Weir and the statue and uh, in his garden. And uh, here's Tom, uh, the irrepressible Tom Weir. Uh, if you don't know anything about Tom, check out his videos uh, for uh, BBC, maybe yes, BBC, did loads of walking things, uh, he's a, a legend, okay, uh, so check him out uh, if you can, and uh, check out this garden here in Balmaha, because it's absolutely fantastic, as I was saying a minute ago, last time we were here, it was just a, a statue, but now it's a nice wee uh, seating area, picnic area, a uh, nice wee viewpoint, uh, fantastic, so, uh, Make sure you don't miss Balmaha, but come early because there's not a great deal of parking, uh, so you might be um, um, stuffed. It's uh, called the Tom Weir Rest. Tom Weir Rest, Balmaha. Thanks.
So if you walk out of Balmaha to the right, I suppose, uh, towards River Den and uh, Cashel area, uh, along the shore, you come to this area here, which, as you can see, is quite amazing. Fantastic beach. Uh, one of the best hidden beaches in Scotland, I would imagine. Let's go the other way. See what Jackie's doing up there? See that there? A view right across the loch, so if you want to come for a picnic, uh, brilliant. Not allowed to stay the night anymore, uh, no camping allowed on this side. Um, it's a camping management zone from April to September, I think, something like that. So, yeah, no luck. Uh, but look how great it is. And very, very quiet. Thanks, catch you later. So that's us back after the weekend and uh, pretty successful, I think. Yeah, good weekend. Yeah, good. Uh, Never spent a penny. You know, part for night thing, the, the Forest Commission are doing, uh, resounding success, we think. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you liked the, the drumming stuff that we did. If you did, uh, then a big thumbs up. If you didn't, eh, big thumbs down. Uh, and if you could like and subscribe. That would be excellent and uh, we will catch you the next time on Motorhoming with Jake and Chuckles. Thank you.